no matter what. Why do I feel like the past is watching me on this goddamn night? I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived the night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. Look at that. Hey, Sonny. What you scratching out over here? I heard the big boss threw you out. Tough luck, boys. I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop. Just like you. Well, more than you. Hey, you don't have to be so peckish, old bud. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. My lawyer's in charge. Oh, God. That clumsy buffalo is here tonight. If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. <laughs> you got it. You looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. Yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range. As always. Hey, Royce. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? By the way, what's with the raincoats? Couldn't you find an umbrella? Why? Frank says it'll be rain. And see, it's raining. He's a frog, so he must know. Yeah, well, I'm a rooster, but I hate getting up early. Raincoats are just fine, okay. You have a problem with that, Sonny? No, just, uh, you know, the spikes sticking through and all. Is something wrong with our spikes chucking? Yeah, you know what? Just forget it. Don't you freeze, boys? It's cold outside. Yeah, truth be told, I'll freeze to my bones, Sonny. Even through this jacket, I'm completely soaked. Really? I don't know why. Don't listen to him, Roy's. And you? You got nothing better to do. Bugger off. <laughs> okay, okay. Just, <laughs> sometimes you two truly amaze me. Here we are again, Clawville Police Department. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult's secret hideout over the years. Anyway, the place holds the secrets of the ages, and some drunk pigs in the basement. Unity. <laughs> For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. Hey, Monica. Hey, Boss Bird. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be celebrating somewhere? Every day's a holiday since I got out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but first, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Like always. 
And if he carries on like that, he's gonna use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just sign here and you're good to go. Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, boss bird. Hey, Sonny, is everything all right? Sure, everything's fine, Mon. I'm just distracted. That's nice. Life is best if you let the adventures take you with them. <laughs> Jeez, Mon. Don't read so many romantic novels. That was one of yours, actually. From the old Sonny. You used to love saying nice little things like that, remember? I try not to. We can't erase the past because we are the past ourselves, am I right? Stop that right there. Okay, okay. I'm just joking. Yes, boss bird? Nothing, yeah. Just don't... Mort, you scabious beast. What the hell did you do? It's Morty to you, sonny boy. Everything's fine. There was just a bit of trouble in the bar, and someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. I'm as blind as a bat, am I right? <laughs> did that ever bother you, Morty? Listen, sonny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Uh, Jesse is a good boy, Sonny. And he's good to me, believe me. Oh, God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? Oh, of course he's using me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Still, Sonny, I have no one else. Do you understand that? Don't you? Even you deserve better, pal. By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm not what I used to be. But neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, sonny boy. I really am. Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. I don't talk to that insane owl. Damn right. Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo shit. Hey, careful with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. <laughs> like I care. I'll try to speak for you, but keep it down till then, okay? You don't need this shit, and I don't need it either. Sonny boy, you've always been a good friend. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. Tell me, Sonny boy, how's Molly and the little chicky? You really know how to hurt a guy. 
Is something wrong? They no longer live with me, Mort. For a few years now. And to be honest, we're not really in touch. I'm sorry, pal. I didn't want to reopen old wounds. It's all right, Morty. Let's drop it. Everything all right, Lizard Wizard? Yeah, it will be. As soon as I'm out of here. Yes, Boss Bird? Nothing yet. Just don't make a mess. What do you know about the Czar Club? Nothing special. I've never been there. It's a famous place, though. Expensive cigars, unaffordable drinks, pretty gals. All the movie stars and politicians go there at least once a week. And all the big shot mobsters, too, I've heard. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. Still living in Neapolis? If something works, why change it, right? Well, if you like it there. Listen, Monica, you could, uh, come by sometime for a drink or, or two, you know? I didn't hear that, and you didn't say that. Okay, got it. Sorry. Anything else, Boss Bird? Do we have a file on Hobart, Ibn, Wessler? Are you kidding me? We have a whole room just for him. Want the key? You can spend the remaining days of your paid holiday in there. No thanks. Never mind. You're a bit sassy today, aren't you? I'm sorry, Sonny, but I'm starting to shed my feathers because of this insane asylum. You know, New Year's Eve and Blood Boil's not here when he should be. Somehow, I'm not sorry about that. Yeah, I bet you're not, Boss Bird. Natasha Katzenko. Hmm, interesting name. Is it real or just an alias? It's supposed to be real, but who knows? Good question. We have nothing on her. She's either clean or uses a fake name. Maybe both, but I don't think so. Aside from that, everyone knows what I know about her. Singer, star, the number one babe in this town, so to speak. Thanks, little bird. It's something. Glad I could help. Holy wild ones, look what the cat dragged in. Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy, as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You know how it goes. And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. I didn't know the lizards could fly. <laughs> so, Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you? Still dying? I'm still a cop for another 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. All right, all right. No need to bite. I wasn't trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, but he's not the same bird. Well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion, thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad, not him. It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No worries, pal. How are the pups? They're real monsters. Life's a living hell. But it'd be even worse without them, you know? Yeah, you're telling me. Right. Sorry. And how's life without the chicken police? Unfortunately, the worst half is still here. But it's good. It's so uneventful. What a coincidence. Want me to make a scene? <laughs> no, I'm fine without it, really. Listen, Bosco, do you need this mess with Mort? <sighs> like hell I do. Well, what can I do when he's almost beat a fucking giraffe to death? A giraffe? <sighs> Never mind, it's New Year's Eve. There's a brawl like this in every joint of the city, and you know that. He's just a loser, and also blind. Maybe someone just stuck that broken mug in his hand. 
Lucky you know that's not what happened. Of course I know. <sighs> all right. I'll let him go. We don't need him yelling in here all night. I'll write the report and throw him out. But he'd better not end up back in here again tonight. I'll have a talk with him. Keep up the good work. You're a good boy, Bosco. <laughs> Cluck off, Sonny. We used one of these as top. Just sign any bullshit testimony they shove in your face, and you're free to go. Bosco also wants to get through with it, just like you. Thanks, Sonny. Much obliged. You owe me another one, old man. And I won't forget it. You can count on me, sonny boy. I'll help if I can. This is gonna be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand and I was bleeding. I don't know. Hey, Marty. Oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. Were you lost? This is the PD building, you know? Cut the shit, Marty. We're better than this. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on, let's forget that. What's past is past. Uh, easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, my aim wasn't good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Well, it's a start. Okay, I've said it. I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. Uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny. Stop it right there. I'm in. That's... That's it? Ugh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid, reckless shit? Soon enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so, tell me, what's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Ah, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, okay? Bertha stays. <sighs> okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? Ah, <sighs> all right. Susie can come. That's what I want to hear. Hey, Marty, what about Laura? How come she didn't eat you yet? Yeah, very funny. We're good, by the way. Mostly. As good as we can be after all these years. Glad to hear it. She asks a lot about you. Really? Yeah. She always hated you for getting me into trouble all the time. Understandable. But she also felt sorry for you. Oh, well, thanks. That's uh, much better. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, she loved the chicken police, Marty, better than this one. Well, I think I'll take that as a compliment. Whatever, Sonny. So, uh, Sonny, you still limping? The pellets tore my right hip to pieces, so yes, the doctor says I'll limp forever. 
Ah, good to hear that. Fuck off. Can we go finally, or are you waiting for a big warm hug? Let's get out of here before I get detained for gutting you. Ah, lovely and peaceful as always. Welcome back, boss bird. Can we go find... Let's... Ah. Marty looks good. Big and loud and angry as always. Hey, there were four weapons here. Where are the others? You're not bringing them with you, I hope. Oh, we're going to a bar, aren't we? Yeah, that's the point. And? What? A buffalo killer and two handguns? We're only there to sniff around, not start a goddamn war. Ah, war, bar, what's the difference? And it's frickin' New Year's Eve, right? Of all that's furry, you know what? I don't even care. That's the spirit. Bye, Mandy. See you soon. <laughs> You've named the poster girl. You a bit lonely these days? You're one to talk. I've heard you muttering to her. What, me? To a poster? <laughs> Don't be silly. You know, the broad in the picture really was a cop. Was? Why? What happened to her? She shot herself while cleaning her gun. What a waste. You know, the broad in the picture was. She shot. What a waste. Still drink coffee? Yeah, my only poison. Except for guns, of course. And women. We could visit our old haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zips coffee in the hop dog. I'm in. Oh, and maybe we'll get into a little fight too, huh? If it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Oh yeah, like last time? Those were uh, different times, Marty. With a different Sonny. Uh, well, all right. To the city, then. You don't have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's go. Uh, Sonny, there's a little problem. Not so little, and it smells, too. What the furry hell is Blood Boil doing here? Uh, well, it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Oh, yes, we can. You have your rifle with you, right? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. Do you 
remember when they changed the old coat of arms and we used it as target practice? I remember Blood Boil catching us and almost suspending us because of your stupid shit. My stupid shit? I remember it was your idea. And you were drunk as hell. Yeah, and I remember you... you... Gosh, oh, shut the fuck up. You know, when I was a boy, those words used to enchant me. I thought you became a cop for the guns. Well, yeah, that was the main reason. This was the other. This city's lucky to have you, Marty. Yeah, isn't it? And how lucky are you, too? Join the force, protect the crown, serve the people. Get bribed, get beaten by a hooker, get fat. Nice words, nice promises, nice bullshit. We used one of these as target practice once. Not out of disrespect, we were just too damn drunk. I see you're swamped, buddy. I've sent the old lizard away. I don't need him to foul the air anymore. I hate his kind anyway. What, because he's a reptile? No, because he's a good-for-nothing piece of shit. Oh, yeah, that's true. And you? Are you letting off some steam? Something like that. We'll go and check out some CD joint. We're cops, after all, ain't we? And this is still Clawville. That's true, pal. Protect and serve. Yeesh, get a room, you two. Ah, shut up, Marty. What have you heard about the hop dog? Is it still standing? Yeah, it is. But I don't frequent that neighborhood. You shouldn't either. Things have escalated there recently. I see blood boils here. We're in deep guano for sure, Marty. Isn't it your lucky day, huh? Are you thinking about some stupid shit again? We? Excuse me, sir, but what do you mean? Great wilderness. Just keep a low profile, will ya? It's New Year's Eve. We have enough dangerous lunatics running around already. Don't worry, Chow Hound. We know what we're doing. Yeah, of course you do. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, listen, Bosco. I wanted to ask you this for so long. Can I pet you just a little? One more word, and I'll bite off your arm. Oh, hey, hey, easy. I'm just kidding. Guys, I'm really going to miss this when I retire. Hey, listen, boss. Whoa, hey. Guys, I'm... Did you ever notice how much bigger the lion and the fox are than the other animals? You know, maybe all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Huh. So that's why our king's a fox and not a sheep or a bird, right? It's maybe a little late, but you're starting to get it, detective. Where are the insects, anyway? And the reptiles? Did you ever think about that? Many times. I think they didn't fit the idyllic image, so they've been left out. Simple as that. Uh, that says a lot about this city. It says everything, Monty. All it takes is one look, and my comb starts to tingle, which never means anything good. It sh Honestly, I have a really bad feeling about this. Honestly, I have a really bad feeling about this. What a surprise. The two pigeons back together. And without my permission, of course. Chief Blood Boil. Damn. What was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Hey, 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 careful with the racist barking, old hound. Oh, oh, it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? 
That's it, boss. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper, and you know that very well, detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling, chickens. Oh, just a coffee, boss, I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. How touching. You shot him with a shotgun, if I remember. <laughs> Family quarrel. For all the marrow bones of the world, get the hell out of my sight. Have a lovely evening, boss. You especially. Fuck off right now, Santino. What is it, Santino? N nothing, sir. And you need something, Martin? No, sir. Then get out of my sight, birds. What is it? No. And you no sir. And get out. We're leaving, sweetheart. Stay safe, boys. I'm glad to see you two together again. I'm afraid you're alone with that. Hey, don't make me change my mind. You won't, Marty. I bet you can't wait to get mixed up in some serious trouble again. Yep, that's true. I'm serious, boys. Be careful out there. We're big birds, Monica. We can take care of ourselves. Mostly. Okay, but take care of each other, too. Will do, Monica. Yes, ma'am. Look at these two simpletons. <laughs> they don't even realize their jackets are full of holes. For the wild god's sake, don't dare tell them. I already tried, but nothing happened. Figures. You know, this says a lot about this city and the police in general. Yeah, maybe Blood Boil meant it as a deterrent, but it sure sends a different message to the common man. Yeah, he was born into the wrong age. He belongs to a time when everything was decided by who's louder and bites harder. You're probably right. In an age like that, we wouldn't be alive anymore, pal. This happened when that old bloodhound, Blood Boil, was promoted to chief of police. The Castilia clan thought this would frighten the old hound, but they were so wrong. A bullet is a bullet. Doesn't matter if the gun's in the hands of a sheep or a lion. A bullet is a... If it were up to him, only dogs would work at the PD. The racist old bastard. Blood Boil is an asshole. We couldn't dress up that fact even if he wanted to. His only merit is that he's damn good at what he does. True. I guess he is keeping this whole institution together. When he retires... Bam! The whole house of cards will crumble. Every time this poster disappears, good old Blood Boil puts it right back, immediately. I tore it down at least three times already. Actually, it's a kind of passive-aggressive game for us with the Chief. If it had been up to him, Blood Boil would have made Clawville a police state a long time ago. If it had been up to him... The hop dog was like the last warning. You can still turn back. My eyes lingered on the sign. An enormous dog. Like a neon god with limitless power over cheap hot dogs, plastic hamburgers, and watered-down coffee. 
The cold light called me, but I didn't want to get out of the car. If we went in, we were all going to be pancakes, kept together by cold syrup. Marty's worried look shook me out of my reverie. Oh, cluck. Was I talking to myself again? Are you sure that thing's a dog? I always wondered. The name Hop Dog is quite a giveaway. Don't you think so, Mr. Detective? Sometimes the most natural connections lead us astray. Who said that? A natural born genius? <laughs> yeah, right. That sign gives me the creeps. I'm not surprised. Hey, pal. Can you hear me? Look at the poor bastard. He's looking okay, Marty. Remember what we saw when we worked at the Hive? Wild ones. Don't even remind me. I'm trying to forget that shit every day. It's been even worse since. I guess you heard about the riots. Who hasn't? You know, people are afraid that the Great Fire will happen again, and those hive houses are pretty flammable. I don't speak of the devil, Marty. But to be honest, I... I have no idea how this insect matter can be solved. I do. We just open the ghettos and let the insects live among us like they did for centuries. Your heart is pure gold, buddy. But you know it's not that easy. Clawville isn't what it used to be. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't understand what I'm saying. Or he doesn't want to. That's also very likely. Ah, uh, poor bug eyes. At least he's playing music. I mean, he's doing something. Most of the destitute take up drinking or drugs. Or worse. Mm. You know about the light. You mean the light the insects believe in? Yeah, they're afterlife. If they want to go into the light, they set themselves on fire. Yeah, I've heard that. Maybe it's not a bad way to go. That depends on your point of view. used to be such life around here before it became an insect ghetto. That was a very long time ago, Marty. I was a little chick, and the hop dog had the best pancakes in the entire city. Well, since Zip became the owner, the cook, and the waitress, I imagine it's all gone downhill. <laughs> True. But at least the coffee's good. That's right. I have no idea what that mongrel's doing with it, and I don't want to know but its aroma is unbeatable. Roachtown always gives me the creeps. Hey, don't call it that. It's not okay. Whatever happened here, it's still the cobbler district. Old memories? We used to live here a while with my mother. There used to be a small ice cream shop around here and a baker. The whole area smelled like fresh bread. It smelled like home. How could we turn it into a slum? Good question. Let's pray to the gods we'll never have to work here again. Do you remember that case with that fly called Novak? <laughs> Great wild ones. How could I ever forget that? Of all that's furry. Is this still a thing? 
The situation's getting even worse, Marty. Have you heard how the young mothers of the Cobbler District are forced to make a living? I have no idea what goes on in the hive, Sonny. I don't think I want to know. But you're still gonna tell me, right? Prostitution is the lesser evil. What's worse is that some folks have to sell their kids when they're still larvae. Wait, what? Why? They pay a hefty sum for each of them downtown. They sell them as gourmet food in the most expensive restaurants. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. We made this city, Marty. Clawville didn't do this to itself. Don't ever forget that. Place is deserted. Poor Zip. You're right. Yeah, the guy's middle name is bad luck. That's for sure. And voila, the master himself. What a finch. Uh, Sonny, he's a pigeon, not a finch. Don't make me angry, Marty. Okay, I was only joking. In another life, I'd love to be a rock star. <laughs> You're already one, Marty. For me. Ah, thanks, boss. Kids these days and their crazy music. What would old M.B. Davis say to this garbage? kids these days. You still don't eat meat, old man? I'm a rooster, a chicken. Why the hell would I eat meat? I don't mean real meat, I'm not a lunatic. But a meat substitute? There's about 10 different kinds. Have you never tried any of them? Why would I? If I don't eat meat, why would I eat a substitute? Because you can. That's the point. Wild gods, Marty. Stop being such a sheep. Do you fall for those adverts? Substitute isn't meat, Sonny. And if it's tasty, why wouldn't I eat it? I don't care what you eat. But don't be surprised when you lose all your feathers or you try to bite off your own leg one day. Ooh, a nice pancake with hemp seed, chocolate, and black onions? I'd rather have somebody pull my beak off. Ah, you used to be more daring. Yeah, and my back didn't hurt either. Furry heavens, it's depressing being around you, boss bird. Ooh, maybe a peanut souffle with faux meat. Oh, stop it, Marty, before I get sick. Ugh, you're just a boring old man. I'd rather be boring than dead. I wouldn't eat here if my life depended on it. He sure didn't get any younger. Or prettier. You think he's still mad at us? Frankly, Marty, I don't give a damn. Hello, boys. Now, get the hell out of here while I'm asking nicely. Hey, is that how you greet two old friends? Hey, I'm not joking, Sonny. I got a shotgun under the bar. No, you don't, because if you had, we'd arrest you here and now. If there's still life in you when you're full of buckshot. Ah, it's going well so far. We're just here for a coffee, Zip, okay? Like old times. Nothing's like old times. Haven't you noticed? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's quite noticeable. Shit. All right. And where'd you blow in from? We haven't been anywhere, yet, but we're going somewhere. 
Everybody's going somewhere, right? Tell me, how much do you know, Zip? That depends. How deep is it? Bottom of the well kind. Goes down around Ibn Wessler. Holy hell! Wessler? You've dipped your wings in deep shit, boys. If you've got anything on him, don't keep it to yourself. We'd be grateful. Grateful? Maybe you're not gonna trash my joint this time, eh? You know, Ibn's acting strange nowadays. He always believed that if you want something done, you do it yourself. That's how it was for years anyway. And? But now, he left his real estate, the fish racing clubs, the casinos, and the bars to his right-hand man, Mongrel Mick. And ever since, he's been kinda weird, bottomed out, brooding in the seediest joints of the city. Nobody ever knew him to be like this. Weird, huh? Yeah, weird. Do you think it's about a lady? It's always about a lady. Well, there is a woman. I knew it. But not like you think. Is this gonna cost much? Only a favor, like the good old days. Okay, I'm in. That Natasha's a mysterious woman, a real cursed jewel if you ask me. She came out of nowhere two or three years ago and landed on the stage of the millions almost immediately. Is that so? Interesting. Yeah, she's got a fantastic voice, makes men go crazy. But we all know that's not what's important. Then suddenly, BAM! She got the whole club, just like that. But we know exactly how it was. I can imagine, yeah. Since then, it operates under the name The Czar Club, right? The old click is still clicking, right? Yeah, the club was renamed and remodeled. Everyone knows she was Ibn's lover. But she's not your usual canary. She didn't get involved in Ibn's dirty dealings. Then how exactly does she fit into the picture? Check this. A few months ago, the old rat pulled out of his own businesses and gave control to Mongrel Mick and his mob. Mongrel Mick? Doesn't sound familiar. Mick the Marauder ring a bell? Damn, that little monkey came this far? Uh, I think that little shit took advantage of Ibn not being himself. Which has something to do with this Natasha, right? That's my guess. Thanks for this straight dope, Zip. We owe you one. One? You owe me the price of a new coffee shop, remember? Okay, okay. Whatever you need. Just call us. I cluck and will. Thanks, pal. Hey, I'm not your pal, Marty. You sure talk a lot. And yeah, maybe the past is haunting me. Once a rat, always a rat, right? Aw, oh, come on, Zippy. Don't be so hard on yourself. You got out in time. And you've been living an honest, ordinary life since then, haven't you? Yeah, right. How lucky am I, eh? It's more than what many others get, believe me. What's this no insects allowed shit? You're not like that. What do you think? If I let one in, all of them will follow. And then I can forget my regular clientele for good. What clientele? There's no one here. That's it. Would you take even that away from me? What's this no... What do you... What cli... That's it. Have you ever been to that place? Of course, a hundred times. Everyone who matters in this city's been there. Sorry, guys. But then, it had a different name and a different owner. Business affairs, right? Yeah, that was the dark era, Sonny. I don't want to talk about it. Roger that.
condolences, pal. I see your cleaning lady died. Yeah, she set foot in the bedroom once. I haven't seen her since. I didn't dare to go after her. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But what's that smell? Well, cigarettes and whiskey. Yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry, but no, this is lavender? Ah, that. Now, that's got to be the Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. And the job, obviously. Ah, uh, pretty, huh? I can smell it. She's an exotic, too. An Impala, maybe? Furry hell. That's why Chief Inspector Bloodboil hates you so much. He's jealous because your nose is better than a clucking bloodhound. <laughs> the bitter old dog. He just hates all foul. Yeah, true. Except for Monica. Monica is a fairy, not a bird. So, <clears throat> what now? Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. After you, boss bird. I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, I'll just stand around and stare out the window? <laughs> sure, just do it quietly. So this is them. Yeah, the wild gentlemen. They were role models when I was a kid. Well, you must have been a weird kid. Which ain't surprising. My idols were the White Wolf and Super Squirrel. The White Wolf, eh? <laughs> Explains a lot. You know, when I was back in Averia, Clawville and the whole let's live together in peace bullshit seemed like an unattainable dream. Those guys made it happen. The city rose from the ashes of the Great Fire. Yeah, but look at it now. And what would have become of you if you hadn't ended up in Clawville? Perhaps. Those guys were something, huh? Nowadays, I don't know what they were, or what I believed they were. Say, Bosbert, do you read poetry now? No. Why? Because you're going nuts. Well, thanks. The old days. You know, I miss him sometimes. What? The hype? Us as celebrity cops? <laughs> nah, the work. The buzz. The phone ringing at 4 a.m. and knowing if you pick it up, you'll be dragged into something terrible, because that's your job. And of course, you pick it up every cluck in time. I'm not sure it's healthy to enjoy that. Hey, no healthy animal becomes a cop in Clawville. Yeah, true. Ah, man, I can't imagine how you feel. The only good thing you ever had, huh? Shut up, Marty. <laughs> sure. Hmm, I didn't know you used to be a kindergarten teacher. But leather? It's history, so back off. I'm touched by the trust you have in me, boss bird. There are things better left undisturbed, okay? Yeah, got it. You weren't an orphan, were you? No, I wasn't an orphan. My parents are dead, but most of my family still lives somewhere in Averia. Then what the hell still keeps you in Clawville? There's nothing remotely good here. Especially nothing as good as a family. I had my own family, Marty. Not anymore. And Clawville is my home, like it or not. Because that's what I deserve. Ooh, okay, I get it. Who's that shaggy creature? That's M.B. Davis, you bird brain. Politician? Am I gonna have to smash your beak? Seriously, I don't know who the hell he is. <sighs> I know. He's the guy who smuggled cocaine in his prosthetic leg, isn't he? One more word about Mr. Davis, Marty, and I'm gonna wring that ham-sized neck of yours. <laughs> you don't have to cock a doodle immediately, you know. I'm just clucking with you, okay?
Midnight had passed, and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main streets toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards, like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa. Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles. A blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Uh, cops were never welcomed at places like this. They hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. 